Hello guys, today I'm going to show you Obsidian, the software for studying and let's do that on an effective way. So let's jump right into the video. So here we are at the main page of Obsidian software. So you go to obsidian.md and then you get here on the main website. So sharpen your thinking and let's go over the website and then actually go into the program. So your thoughts are yours, your mind is unique and your knowledge should last. So you can also, you also have the mobile app, but let's for now download it on here. Let's actually go into that. So get Obsidian for Windows and you also have more platforms like uh, Apple or iOS. And when we clicked on download, we will come up to this page and click on download for Windows. Here we will see at the right top, not verified, but we have to download it right here, not verified and download. Here we are again, it's downloaded right now. Let's click on it and now it will load. So here it is and here you can select the software uh, if you want to allow it for every user on the PC or only for me. I now click on only for me. And here you have to choose the download location. So we made a new location, the Obsidian app location, and let's click on install. As you can see, it's now ready and click on Obsidian starting and continue, finish, it says. And now it's actually starting up. So here we are, let's, <coughs> let's Go to create a new vault. Let's do that, vault name, let's say test. And you can brush your location, but I'll say create. Oh, I have to pick a folder. So I choose the location Obsidian app and let's click on create. And here we go, loading workspace. So here we are, this is my new vault. So make a note of something, create a link and try to import. Okay, let's say hello to everyone. And here we are. So you have the quick switcher, find or create a node. So as you can see, all the shortcuts are in here. You can navigate. Um, here you can open the graph view, but I only got this one for now. Create a new canvas, so we can create a new canvas right here. And that's as easy as just type like, hello, this is my test. And here we have the settings if you want to, you can only, you can also set it to read only. And this is just zoom in, zoom out. And that's so easy. You can load here pictures, documents and a card. For now I'm good, but you could just, uh, Get the picture there if you want to. Your date, you can add the date to it. And you can insert templates, but I don't have one right now. So let's skip that. And here you can bookmark as well. You can find your bookmarks here. And this is my test canvas. And if you click right click on it, you can open it in a new tab, open to the right, open a new window. You have many different options, open in default app or show in system explorer and rename and delete. So that's actually really easy. And here you have the full settings below. So your general, so this is my current version. Yeah, your language, you could change to almost any language you want. Uh, your help, your account, you can sign in, log in. Uh, commercial license, this costs actually money, this is a subscription, subscription, I don't have it at the moment. Uh, here's your editor tabs, files and links, appearance, hotkeys, you can change here every key. Uh, your core plugins, and your community plugins, your backlinks, canvas, etc. So there are a lot of options actually, Let's skip that. And this is your graph view. Uh, you can also mention the links. I think it works the best on Apple, but um, for now I'm using it on Windows, as you can see. You can go to file, let's say hello, this is my test canvas. 
Also my welcome. So this is actually how to do the notes. And if you are studying, it's really easy. Just click on it and you can also click on the daily. So when you got, for example, a lesson, uh, you have to write down and you are in class, you can actually type in here uh, what happened today uh, with each lesson you have had. So for example, my math is two plus two is four. For example, that's what you can write down. And that's how easy it is. So you can close even this one if you want to. And now you've got the full page. And the great part actually about this is you also have it on your phone. So you can always go back to your uh, notes and, um, and you can also export it to PDF as you can see here. That's also great. If you want to learn and print out the document, then you can do this export. Um, so there are many options, but for now, let's keep it to this. It's just easy for studying and this is how to use it. So if you have any questions, please leave them below. Thank you for watching.